Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This week I decided to vlog what I did during reading week because usually during reading week it's kind of like a half term except it's a half term to catch up on all the revision that maybe you've missed out on or maybe to get ahead in a bit of content but this reading week was my last ever reading week and it was very different because we actually had a couple of classes and we had lots of homeworks and midterms to do and it was so crazy different to how all my previous reading weeks had been. So that's why I'm actually starting off in the library. I think the most important thing that I wanted to do during this reading week was get as much of my dissertation written as possible. So I haven't really talked too much about it, but essentially my dissertation is all on astrophotometry and we basically take images of the stars and then analyze them. So what I've been doing for my project these last few months is basically just going to the observatory, getting data and then analyzing it through the different softwares that we have to use and basically finding out the age of the clusters. So I actually came to university pretty much every day this week to study in the library with my friend. And this day we actually decided to go to Primrose Hill to watch the sunset. That has been something we wanted to do for so long, but we actually went a bit too late and the sun had already started setting by the time we got there. But it was still fun to go and it was really nice because so many people were there with their friend groups just all sitting down at the top of the hill and just watching the sky get dark and it was a really nice vibe actually. I do recommend you guys to go there if you haven't been. The next day I actually went to Donna Kebab and their kebab boxes are actually pretty good. I think in my one there was chicken and lamb and there were like chips at the bottom and the sauces are also really good. I came with Susanna who you've seen in previous vlogs um, and we basically came to eat here because we were trying to decide for so long where we should go to eat but then we were like Donna kebab because why not and their food is pretty good and the price is also pretty good as well so we just ate there. This semester I also had one of the most crazy midterms ever. Crazy in terms of how difficult it was and crazy in terms of how long it took me to do. So for one of our modules we had to basically write a report but it was really weird because we had to write a report based on two papers that were written and understanding those papers for me was really difficult and then writing a report on it where we had to compare them was even more difficult and I literally pulled an all-nighter to do that report. Ooh, yay. The next day I decided maybe it would be better if I actually printed the report out instead of trying to look at it on my iPad so I could actually annotate it with highlighters and so I could read it without having to look at a screen. So I came to the computer room in the library and printed it out. And it was so good that I did print it out because I felt like it was a bit clearer to understand just because, I'm not sure how to explain it, but I feel like when you have a hard copy, it's a lot easier to read. After working on the report for a few more hours, my friends and I decided to actually go to Chinatown and we ended up going to Cha Cha Roll to get lunch. This place is so hyped on TikTok and Instagram and I actually went there last year and got the exact same thing and I was glad that I got the same katsu curry because it was so good. The chicken was really crispy and the sauce was really nice even though we'd been walking around for ages. The next day we thought it would be fun to actually go to the British Library and do some studying and actually the British Library is fun but the problem with it is that everyone goes there so it gets filled up really fast and unless you go right when it opens, you probably won't get the space that you want. I ended up getting here at around 10 o'clock, so only half an hour after it had opened and it was already looking really, really full. And since three of us were going to study from the morning, I thought I should get a table with three seats. But the table was so small and it ended up being four of us later on. So we kind of just split between two tables and worked for about maybe like two hours. We then decided to go exploring and we kind of ended up walking to UCL and just walking around that area. And it was actually kind of nice because I haven't been to UCL in so, so long. I think the last time I properly went there was back when I was in sixth form because I did a couple of summer schools with them and I also went to their Friday evening lectures which were also kind of fun at the time. So it was nice to actually go and see the campus again. And then after that we thought 
we definitely would not have a space again in the British Library. So we ended up going back to university and we worked there for a bit longer. This outfit I'm wearing now is fully from Shein. I'm actually obsessed with this corset and this top. I think it's so, so pretty. So if you're interested in it, I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. And you can also use code LVR15 for 15% off. Meal deals are my literal obsession and these southern fried wraps from Sainsbury's, they just hit different, they are so good and I also ended up getting a pack of yum yums just because why not and it had been so long since I'd eaten yum yums, they were so good and with that almond coffee is actually the perfect combination, so so good. Another day after work, we ended up going out to eat and I ended up getting this bowl of ramen and it looks so, so pretty and it looks actually unbelievable on camera and it smelled really good as well. So I think it was like some chicken ramen. So it was like chicken noodles. And I think there was a lot of seaweed in there as well. And um, that was like soup. It was really nice to have on a cold day. The place that we came to is called Bang Bang and basically it's this massive, like food court with lots of Asian food. I was so spoilt for choice and I really didn't know what I was gonna get. We just ended up walking around and around in circles because we really could not decide. But then I ended up settling on this ramen and then I actually wanted to get some gyozas just because they're literally my favorite. And whenever I make them at home, I always steam them. So I actually wanted to get deep fried gyozas so I got them from another shop and they were so, so good. They were really crispy and they came with, I think, some chili oil and also like a soy sauce dip and it was so, so good. I think one of the really good things about London is that you can literally eat from pretty much every single cuisine. All you've got to do is type on the internet and then there'll be so many different places that do it. And I'm literally always grateful for that because I'm always able to eat loads of different food so I used to have LED strip lights on the wall, but recently they actually stopped working, I guess because they're like a year old and they don't turn on anymore. So I ended up getting a different light and this one is kind of like a space projector. So it's also got little stars and it's so, so cute. We've also got a lot of construction work going on at the moment at university. So I think one of the first things they did was pretty much rebuild the library and it's literally perfect now. But there's also a little construction thing near the Arts 2 building. I like the Arts 2 building because I feel like it's really peaceful and there's barely ever anyone there. And here I'm just filming an outfit of the day in the toilet. I actually post outfit of the days pretty much every single day on Instagram. So if you wanna see them, go and follow me over there. I also post on my story pretty much every day. This specific section is one of my favorite sections of the whole library. I think we've basically got three different floors. So the ground floor, first floor and second floor. The ground floor is pretty much just for group study sessions. So you can talk and stuff down there. And there's also rooms that you can book as well. And then the first floor and the second floor are silent study floors. So the one that I was in right now is floor one. And then I moved over to the computer room in floor one. So this is the silent computer room, which is literally right next to the area I was just in before. And then we've also got another computer room, but you can actually talk in it. But I just prefer the silent ones just so that I don't get distracted by other people talking. This day I was actually doing a midterm for one of my other modules. So this midterm was just basically a quiz and it was pretty much all multiple choice. So I was really glad about that, especially after having the previous midterm, which was just really bad. And then I came to Spoons and had a drink and some food. And then the next day, Look at this view, it's so pretty and everything about it was just so nice, I just had to film it and it was looking like summer, literally giving summer vibes in London. I feel like the canal side being so close to university is such an important 
factor. I think it's so pretty and really, really calming. So whenever I don't know what to do, I literally just walk past it because it always looks pretty. And this day I ended up having prawns and vegetable rice for lunch. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.